Over 20 million people in the U.S. might have kidney disease, and a lot don't realize it. Kidney disease is a big deal. It can mess with your heart, bones, immune system, and even your brain. These organs do a lot for us, like cleaning our blood and controlling fluids. But guess what? Some things we do every day might be secretly hurting our kidneys. We'll go through eight habits that could be a problem. It's good to know about these habits to keep our kidneys healthy. In this video, we'll show you these habits and give easy tips to keep your kidneys in top shape. Just a heads up, this info is for learning, not a substitute to talking to your doctor if you have health worries. Let's get right to it. Eight, overusing painkillers. When you reach for painkillers to soothe that persistent headache, it might seem like a quick solution. However, there's a hidden risk for your kidneys. A study in the Archives of Internal Medicine reveals that prolonged use of painkillers can spike the risk of kidney cancer by 50%. Many people turn to over-the-counter painkillers like NSAIDs and analgesics, unaware of the potential harm to their kidneys, especially if they have kidney disease or take these medications frequently or in high doses. Drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen, commonly found in over-the-counter pills such as Motrin, Aleve, Naprosin, and Advil, belong to a class of pain relievers called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These medications are known for their effectiveness in managing pain and reducing inflammation. However, when used excessively or over a prolonged period, they can pose a risk to kidney health by potentially causing kidney damage or worsening pre-existing kidney conditions. It's essential to use these medications as directed and consult with a healthcare professional if there are concerns about kidney health or prolonged use of NSAIDs. The National Kidney Foundation emphasizes that NSAIDs can decrease blood flow to the kidneys, leading to inflammation and scarring in kidney tissues. Analgesics like acetaminophen and aspirin can also damage the kidneys with frequent or excessive use. To safeguard your kidneys, it's crucial to use painkillers sparingly and always adhere to the recommended dosage. If you're dealing with chronic pain, consulting your doctor about alternative approaches such as physical therapy, acupuncture, or meditation can be a healthier strategy for your kidneys. Remember, a little caution with pain relief can go a long way in kidney care. 7. Consuming too much salt. Slow down with the salt shaker. Adding excessive salt to your meals or indulging in highly processed foods is a common way salt sneaks into your diet. Sodium, found in salt, leads to water retention, causing an increase in blood volume and over time, elevating blood pressure. Now, you might wonder, why does this matter? Well, let us break it down for you. High blood pressure can gradually harm your kidneys and stands as the primary contributor to kidney failure. The average American diet surpasses the FDA recommended daily maximum of 2,300 milligrams of sodium, with estimates exceeding 3,400 milligrams a day. To stay within the daily limit of a low sodium diet, or 2,400 milligrams a day, consider ditching processed foods. If it comes in a can, packet, or box, think twice. Minimize salt during cooking to a tiny pinch and avoid adding extra salt to your food. Give it a few months. You might notice your blood pressure trending down. 6. Not sleeping enough. If you're feeling tired, it's better to get some sleep. Your work can surely wait for another day. Why is that, you ask? Well, let us explain. Your kidneys rely on your sleep patterns to manage their workload efficiently around the clock. These incredible organs are tuned to your sleep-wake cycle, following the body's natural rhythms, which help them anticipate the body's needs over 24 hours. Research indicates that sleep disturbances might impact the development of kidney disease. This could be due to the inflammatory conditions 
and increase stress on the kidneys caused by disruptions to your regular sleep patterns. These factors could potentially harm specific parts of the kidneys affecting their functioning. 5. Eating too much processed foods. Processed foods might satisfy those late night cravings, but they're not doing your kidneys any favors. Packed with sodium and phosphorus, these quick bites of deliciousness can lead to kidney issues. Research shows that diets heavy on processed and junk food can harm the kidneys in the long run and even trigger diabetes. For people with diabetes, processed foods containing sugar can cause sugar levels to spike in the blood, leading to diabetic kidney issues. These foods are also loaded with phosphorus and other chemicals that your kidneys struggle to filter out. It's wiser to opt for fresh fruits and veggies over canned ones. While protein is essential, an excessive animal protein diet can be harmful. Animal protein generates a lot of acid in the body. Choosing plant-based protein is a healthier alternative. Normally, around 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is recommended. Balancing your diet with healthy fruits, veggies, whole grains, and plant-based proteins while keeping sugar intake in check can help manage diabetes and delay kidney disease progression. Additionally, drinking plenty of water is a good practice for kidney health. 4. Smoking Cigarettes Smoking not only harms your lungs, but also takes a toll on your kidneys. It accelerates the hardening of arteries, contributing to kidney damage. The nicotine habit speeds up vascular disease, leading to high blood pressure and harming the blood vessels in your kidneys. Kidney cancer is another risk associated with smoking. Moreover, smoking can interfere with medications meant to control high blood pressure, an essential factor in preventing kidney disease. The habit reduces blood flow to crucial organs like the kidneys, exasperating existing kidney issues. Quitting smoking is a vital step in protecting your kidney health. 3. Not drinking enough water. Staying hydrated is crucial for kidney health. To maintain good hydration, aim to drink about half your body weight in pounds in ounces of water per day. For instance, a 180-pound person should aim for about 90 ounces daily. While water is the best choice, you can include other beverages like tea and coffee, with up to 24 ounces of your daily fluid intake being non-water drinks. Ensuring proper hydration is particularly vital for those with stage 3 chronic kidney disease, or CKD. As studies suggest, it can slow down disease progression. However, individuals with certain health conditions, like heart failure, advanced kidney disease, chronic edema, or those on dialysis may have specific fluid restrictions. Avoid excessive intake of artificial sweeteners found in sodas, as they can be harmful to the kidneys. Chronic dehydration, leading to concentrated urine, may contribute to the formation of crystals and increase the risk of kidney stones and urinary tract infections. So keep sipping water throughout the day to support your kidney function. 2. Excessive intake of alcohol. While moderate alcohol consumption is generally non-toxic to the kidneys, long-term excessive use exceeding four drinks a day can double the risk of kidney disease and potentially lead to liver failure. Relying heavily on whiskey or wine can have detrimental effects on your kidneys. Studies indicate that consuming more than four drinks a day is associated with a two-fold increase in the risk of chronic kidney disease. Frequent alcohol consumption can adversely affect kidney function by disrupting their ability to filter blood. Alcohol also influences blood pressure, contributing to renal function disruption. Additionally, alcohol acts as a diuretic, leading to dehydration and straining the kidneys. To safeguard kidney health, it's crucial to limit alcohol intake and practice moderation. 1. Not exercising enough. When you don't exercise regularly, your kidneys might not get all the love they need. These bean-shaped organs filter your blood, but if you're not moving around much, less blood flows to them, and that can mess with how they do their job. Also, 
not exercising often can make you put on extra weight, get diabetes, or have high blood pressure. All things that aren't great for your kidneys. But when you exercise regularly, it keeps your heart strong, helps you stay at a healthy weight, and lowers the chance of having kidney problems. Plus, when you move around, it helps control how much sugar is in your blood, and it might even stop those early signs that your kidneys might not be feeling their best. A study looked at how exercise helps people with kidney disease before they start dialysis. They found that doing exercise improved how well they moved and reduced the risk of dying. Other studies also showed that doing exercises like walking or lifting weights helped these patients. It made them stronger, improved how their body worked, and even helped with their blood pressure. So remember, getting up and moving around isn't just good for your muscles and heart. It's a fantastic way to show your kidneys some love and keep them feeling awesome. Discovering the keys to kidney health has never been more exciting. We've unraveled the eight habits that might be silently affecting your kidneys. The good news is that with a sprinkle of lifestyle changes, you can be the hero your kidneys need for a healthier life. Ensure your kidneys stay in top shape by making savvy choices, keeping the hydration flowing, and seeking expert advice when required. Your body will be grateful. Don't miss out on more empowering content. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell. Together we're on a journey to better health, and your active participation makes it even more exciting.